what is going on warriors it's your boy shinryu back again with another video and today um you guys have pretty much observed everything that's going on with regards to you know what is new and we have the destiny talent that has been back all right so we're going to be discussing that all right we have a couple of things you know to look at right now with regards to the exchange tent so we're going to be discussing generally what you know i would recommend you guys go for and of course you guys can put in the comment as well what you guys are actually going for because you know different needs but then there are certain things in my opinion that i don't think are typically worth you know purchasing in the shop because either they're always going to be available you can get them through other means or you know you would uh, have to focus on other aspects depending on how far you've gotten in the game okay now the first things first is this all right we're going to have certain people all right who are currently you know towards you know 30 and above okay so there's gonna be a few things you want to be looking at right now all right um the first things first is i'm going to go right ahead and rule out some things i don't want to bother you, you don't really want to bother with first thing is money all right the only you're the only ever think about getting this once you're out of other options okay the second thing is there seems to be a decent amount of characters here all right ranging from you know mad ryu to street poison as well as you know add-on right now uh add-on totally off a no-go mad ryu it's uh it depends on what stage you're at right if you're pretty much uh starting at the beginning right you it might be one of the quickest guys you can actually go into triple s uh without actually you know investing or wasting you know you know on divination so you can actually go for him but then you also have you know street poison as well who's a pretty good character and if you're early game it's also a good investment in if you're late game as well already and you're sort of like looking to beat her more like for example look at me here where i have my street poison at triple s plus one right i also even have an extra motivation to try and get her because if you go over here right now you can see uh let's see here she's wind right Oh, actually, I don't have a spare unit anymore. I thought I had a spare unit before. But even if you have a spare unit, what I would say is don't worry about any of the regular units. When I mean regular, I mean like if they fall under the wind, flame, or thunder faction. Don't worry too much about them. You'll always get a chance to get them. Regardless, either true choice recruits, uh, either true, you know, which, uh, which are less expensive than this particular, you know, reward cards here. Either through, um, you know, uh, the factional you know recruit as well you know you obviously have a higher chance because you can choose the you know faction you're dealing with and of course true regular summons as well so look at the factional recruit right now here um my current focus is i'm trying to go for you know mommy dials him he's the one i'm looking to try and push as far as possible but of course you know uh in a thunder i also don't mind you know street poison as well all right, I don't mind regular poison as well as e-hunter. I have three people under here that I sort of fancy. With win faction, of course, you know we want close, we're close to Gal. We get Gal, we can get him off the wish list. Charlie is also a great addition, of course. Beast and give, and of course we have poison here. Point is that you can oh you all you always get poison eventually, so you don't want to waste your resources that you get from Destiny Talent on one of these regulars. Okay, now we go up here cards cars are very very frequent even if you feel like you can't get enough cars right or uh, the thing is that at least you can build your first six as you continue to go um so i wouldn't actually use this one here as well because you always get replacements and uh, you know um there's always more events that actually get them to you for free you can get them in the idle you know uh, gains as well so you want to ignore that of course we're back to money again this is just a bigger stack you know helps you with upgrading because right now money is really scarce right if you're end game and you feel like you have most of the character that you need and you're not peculiar about the master and the inferno faction uh, faction based characters who require divination only to actually pull all right then you can go right ahead and start to work on the money or the experience but this one here the uh break stones yeah for now you're going to realize once you're end game you're going to be lacking you're going to be having a lot that you're stacking up because they don't burn out as much as the experience and the money does okay uh and of course if you're early game you can you can actually put on a concentration but you're going to eventually find yourself getting everything back once you hit that limit break you know um stage 
and then you have a lot of this so i'm not really it's early game it makes it makes a lot of good sense to pick it up but i would deal with the idle games and all the other methods of actually getting this than actually going for it here in the town right now this one here is pretty much a, a smart option if you want to go right ahead and start to push your characters but then again they come in they come easily through other means so i'm not going to actually advise it as well I'm just going to go up to the one that I would advise first of all. This is a um, number one contender here right now. All right. Bid if you're early or end game because you're going to lead this eventually. And initially there was fears like a, it was, this was going to be scarce to pull. But look, judging by the cost for 50, it's actually not bad at all. Okay. And of course you have this as well. So these are the actual two contending things you actually want to go for in this event. Okay. Now this one here, this one... You know, unless for me, if you're not a pay to play person, you don't want to do and have anything to do with all this stuff because it's only aesthetic, all right, and that's pretty much it. And it's just for something to show off. And the truth matter is that you have so much of this that you're going to be getting f from that you would be spoiled for, for choices in terms of like where you get this, and you would eventually not even be using most of them. In my opinion, this should have actually have been something that should have just been a reward for participating in the event should be free in my opinion you know same with the background but you know they find ways to get money or whatever or at least to make sure that you're short on resources so you're left with now these two characters okay vega and achan now going for for me you know i've heard a lot of people they always try and re not recommend going for any of this you know Factional characters that are like special, like just the um, Master and Inferno, right? But in my opinion, you want to reduce your chance of actually running Divination as well as trying to build up other characters, and you want to slowly build these guys as a group, okay? Uh, so you want to make sure that you pick one of them. Now, typically, I would want to go for Vega because Vega seems to become more frequent. He's shown up like you know, he showed up in the previous um. You know the previous um lock i, I think it was more you had to the hammer and start you know going through you know matching you know uh items and you have to get to floor 20 to actually unlock him i can't remember what event is called off my head but he seems to be frequently coming up right now and it looks like h on this is the first time she's coming up but i've always wanted to have this character so for me i'm going to get this character that's what i'm looking at right now i would normally have prefer to go for vega but i think i would have more opportunities to go for, to get vega you know i want to go for h on right now in case she becomes what you call this frequent unit that will come because the good thing about this actually tent for the destiny tarot or tarot is that um is that you would typically get one of these characters and you can get at least one unit okay now once i get one of this one which is what i also recommend as well because this character is actually h on is typically good for uh, early game you can add them to your existing characters and you make mad progress as well but of course you know you have to worry about how quickly can you build them up which is going to be a struggle so that's what you want to think about it but i'll show you what i'm talking about shortly when it comes to building your inferno and master characters together so that eventually once you're top you're almost on par with you know the whales but of course it's going to take you longer and hopefully we have that time enough to actually get it done okay so once you actually get one of this unit because that's all you're going to be able to afford then you can now focus on the rest with this one of these two all right this one seems to be more frequent than this one here so i recommend you go for this one instead all right but then i believe you have to clear this one for you actually go for this one you have enough time to go for this because like i mentioned in my previous videos i'm very very certain that the other characters are also going to get the soul you know the soul power and i don't you know the options that it picked for the characters to actually have them it was very strategic i don't think they only put them just so that you can actually have one representative when you're doing the tower battle i believe it was almost like a test because it was just a representative then they would have gone for you know everyone to at least be the damage dealing unit because that would be a no-brainer but instead like i said before they went for a tank in e hunter and you can see you know the soul power there you guys already know units are there they went for a support for street poison and then they went for an attacker for viper and of course they dealt with the rest jury for you know the assassin and then you know um M uh, mgk for um gomagalakan for 
balanced, I believe it's here somewhere, you know, you should be higher than most of these units in areas for the balance, right? So, that's why I think all of them will get them. So, take your time with building up this uh, soul uh, gems or the soul uh, shards or the soul, you know, um, the core. I can't remember what I call it again. Uh, yeah, core and shard, yep, and then you should be good to go, okay? So, that's the first thing with regards to that shop. Now, obviously, uh, with this one here, um, the training supplies are a bit different, okay? Uh, with the training supplies, you know, here you may want to consider, you know, some of these, you know, uh, factional characters if you're close to building them. You know, for example, um, having a summer yang is not a bad idea, but like I said before, you're better off using them for more of these things than for actually, you know, more of the special, you know, requests than for actually on a character because this is too expensive for a character that you can gamble on with, for example, these are uh, arcade coins are in my land, one of them, all right? Because of their guarantee, it doesn't necessarily justify that. So I'm still going to say no, all right? But Summer Yang is a pretty good unit. It makes the flame a lot better. So if also early as well, you can go for that. Or if you're just one short of thing with five stars, but I'll recommend any of those characters, okay? I would typically recommend um, the eight. I always go for, you know, um, the arcade coins over the fractional coins fractional coins yeah sure you can actually isolate the unit you want to get doesn't guarantee it still and it is way too expensive as you can see here this is 25 gets you 10 30 only gets you five so it's a no-brainer just arcade coins only you can get all five that'll get you 125 and you have space for more but if you're end game all right you pretty much want to just go for this boost stones okay yeah that's the first you want to go for if you don't have enough of this i still recommend it now because now there are many opportunities for actually get this and they're quite expensive i'll recommend number one boost stones for the end game people once again this stops here ignore it all right um you also want to go for one of these two depending on how much you have they're also really good all right um and also just and in my opinion strictly stick with the boost stones as well as you know the stranding tokens and the original tokens these three are pretty much important you can also consider the fake gems but i wouldn't recommend that you know you have other ways to get it and there are two you know um you know yeah sure you need a lot of them but you can be very strategic with the uh, so fake gems I actually get so that's pretty much what I'm going to recommend here I'm going to go right here and do a recap so that we you guys can see exactly what I talked about going with the train supplies again like I said you don't want to go for the cash with whatever balance you have when you can't actually afford anything else okay that should be the final thing that you want to go for otherwise this is actually not a bad option either maybe having one or two because you know unless you already have your faction set properly because you don't want to be buying um specific faction equipment uh, wrong spot here because you're almost three times the expense of going for this one that you can actually guess for as you can see almost 90k for this one's here um so you don't want to be doing and then also you can't even get you know um legendary equipment from using from you know or uh, using this so but you can get with the other stuff so i would just say go right ahead if you want you can get maybe you know two of this and then you just wrap it up that's what i would recommend um for the uh the eight tokens typically early to mid game i would recommend that that would give you a chance to get another character uh and like i said trip pr works it as triple rule so you are pretty much fine with that but otherwise go for these guys here these three starting with this one here get as much as you can it costs 40 once you whatever balance you have probably go with this one here you have a limit i don't know if you might be able to get an entire limit i think i did with the last one there and you can pretty much go right in and push your character to the best that you can that's pretty much it for me which you guys want to go for in the um supplies right now and of course uh to wrap it up with the uh the, the exchange tent here um if you're if you're like i said you want to build your uh master inferno characters together because they're pretty much useful when it comes to uh, attempting the let's see um the you know uh the uh, inverse world you know you can use them to pick up you no know, you know uh challenges that are against 
regular faction characters and you still get the benefits of using them because you're strong enough uh but going back to what i was trying to say again it's either these two not necessary if you're not focused on those but if you are it's a good idea to pick them otherwise these are the two you want to primarily focus on you can also go for this one as well you know bad uh, otherwise uh, for all the others you know um not really uh, recommended for me you don't want to go for any of these characters at all and like i said when it comes to the money you only use your final balance to actually go for those money never go from the start okay so it's your boy shinbi that's pretty much uh, what i wanted to say here uh let me know if you like the video let me know what you think let me know what you guys are intend to go for in the um you know uh the uh, you know the supplies or the you know the tents as well and um also uh, i appreciate you know the recent subscribers i know you guys are sort of pushing me a little bit here i appreciate you guys uh i will be doing a mention soon enough uh also appreciate the comments as well you know like i said i'm always available to respond as quickly as i can help out the best way i can and it's been your boy shin ryu uh thanks again for the likes for the subscribe as well i appreciate you guys and i will catch you guys in the next one cheers